In this video, I'm going to show you how to do batch listings with HydroLister. With HydroLister, you have the ability to list as fast or as slow as you want. If you want to do just a few items a day, you can, hundreds of items, thousands of items, totally up to you. If you prefer to do batch listings, you can grab as little or as many ASIN numbers from Amazon or item URLs from multiple suppliers and dump them into HydroLister and list them with the click of a button. To start a batch listing, just click on the New Batch tab. In the box that appears on the screen, you'll paste in the ASINs or item URLs that you want to list. Um, so for this example, I'm going to do three links here. I'm going to grab an Amazon ASIN number just to show you really quickly. Um, that you can use a combination of ASINs and supplier URLs. Let's see, I got a link here from Wayfair. And you want to make sure that if you're listing um, full URLs that you take out referral information. Usually it begins with a question mark or there's an additional backslash here and it says REF or something like that. But Basically, um, the end of the link is right here, so I'm going to delete out this extra junk from the URL. Okay, and I'm going to grab the third link, and notice that this link has a variation. Um, it's actually color and size, and Overstock does theirs. You have to, when you list variations, you have to do them exactly how, how the supplier has them. So I'm going to show you that. And again, I'm taking out this referral information at the end of the link. Now, when you list an item that has a variation, you'll need to put a semicolon at the end of the link and put the name of the variation. As you can see on this link, Overstock does them with the size, with a capital letter, a dash, and then the color. When you enter variations, they are case sensitive. So you'll want to do the spelling exactly how the supplier has it and everything like that. And capitalization, of course. So you'll do, I'll do king dash white. Now typically other suppliers, when they have more than one option, you have to separate the variations with a vertical line, which you get by pressing shift and the backslash. Um, and that gives you a vertical line, but overstock on this particular item doesn't do it that way. So you just enter the variation as is listed. And if you ever get lost on how to do the variations, uh, that information is right above this box. So that's it. Basically, you paste in your ASIN numbers or item URLs. And if you need to list an item that has a variation with the supplier, you'll want to enter it with a semicolon and the name of the variation exactly how the supplier has it listed and if there's more than one option for the variation then you separate the two words or phrases with a vertical line and that's it you select the selling platform that you want to sell on and you hit add new batch hydrolister will tell me that three items have been queued to be listed and you can check the status at any time by clicking the item list tab and it will show you that I have three items pending right here these are the supplier URLs and they are still pending to be exported to SKU Grid as well and that's how you do batch listings you pretty much can walk away when you do batch listings they'll be posted within the hour usually um, of course the more items you have listed the longer it might take, it might take closer to that hour to start posting. But typically it's about an hour. And that's really about it. <laughs> it batch listing is really easy, especially if you're using some type of scraping software, um, because you can just scrape uh, ASIN numbers or item URLs from different websites and just paste them in here in one shot. Um, I suggest that if you're listing an item with one URL but there's separate entries for more than one variation of that item then 
you do a single item listing and at least edit the title and make sure that your description and photos are correct. Uh, what I mean by this is if you're listing an item and you're listing a blue one and a white one and an orange one, um, you'll want to do them as single item listings and at least edit your titles because if you don't, um, eBay will tend to think that they're duplicate items when they're not. So you'll want to go ahead and change something on that listing, especially uh, the title and the main image usually. Just switch, you know, which one appears as the main image.